The Elbit Systems Hermes 900 Kachev Star is an Israeli medium-sized multi-payload medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, designed for tactical missions. It is a sequel to the Hermes 450 series of drones, one of the most widely used military drones in the world. It has an endurance of over 30 hours and can fly at a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet 9, meters, with a primary mission of reconnaissance, surveillance and communications relay. The Hermes 900 has a wingspan of 15 meters 49 feet, and weighs 970 kilograms 2, pounds, with a payload capability of 300 kilograms 660 pounds. Payload options include electro-optical infrared sensors, synthetic aperture radar ground-moving target indication, communications and electronic intelligence, electronic warfare, and hyperspectral sensors. Azerbaijani media reported in August 2017 that Azerbaijan has procured as many as 15 Hermes 900. In May 2018, Azerbaijani president visited a military base to inspect military equipment, released photos from the visit included one Hermes 900. Elbit Systems has been awarded a contract to supply a Hermes 900 unmanned air system to the Brazilian Air Force. In July 2011, Elbit reported the first export sale of its Hermes 900 UAV to the Chilean Air Force. The Chilean choice followed evaluation of two classes of UAVs. At the high end were the Elbit Hermes 900 and IAI Heron. At the lower, tactical, level were Elbit Hermes 450, an Aerostar from Aeronautics Defense Systems. Three Hermes 900 UAVs are operated by the Chilean Air Force. In October 2013, the Chilean Navy began evaluating the Hermes 900 for procurement for maritime patrol tasks. In August 2012, Elbit won a multi-million dollar contract to supply a mixed fleet of Hermes 900 and Hermes 450 unmanned air systems to Colombia. In July 2013, the Colombian Air Force confirmed they have one Hermes 900 on order to be accepted in the coming months. In September 2018, the Portuguese company Centro de Engenharia e Desenvolvimento was contracted to the European Maritime Safety Agency to provide long-range, long-endurance maritime surveillance services using the Hermes 900. Iceland uses Hermes 900 UAV to monitor its exclusive economic zone. In January 2012, Elbit announced it has been awarded a $50 million contract to supply two Hermes 900 systems to an undisclosed customer in the Americas, later revealed to be the Mexican Federal Police. Max Defense Philippines and Israel Defense reported that aside from the four Hermes 450 UAVs, the Philippine Air Force is also set to acquire 10 Hermes 900 UAVs, as well as ground control systems, support equipment, mission payload, and integrated logistics system ILS, including training, technical support, and other requirements, as part of Horizon 2 of its modernization program, with delivery expected by 2020. As of November 2019, flight testing of airframes tail number 9001 and 9002 are being conducted in country. In June 2014, Switzerland's procurement agency selected the Hermes 900 to meet the nation's requirement. The design had been in competition with IAI Heron to replace the Ruag Ranger UAV, ADS-95, currently in service with the Swiss Air Force. Six Hermes 900, ADS-15, will replace the 15 Ruag Rangers by 2019. The Israeli Air Force has equipped its Elbit Systems Hermes 900 unmanned air vehicles with undisclosed specialist payloads, and formally named the Type Kachev, Star.18 the UAV, made its first operational flight during protective edge operation in Gaza in July 2014. Thank you guys for watching. And feel free to subscribe for more videos every week.